Hi, this is Gabe from FluentForever.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways to get multi-search running on your computer. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, this is basically a way to search for a word in a foreign language on four or five websites at once, so you can get pictures, translations, dictionary definitions, whatever you want, basically, uh, all with the press of a button. It is a wonderful time-saving tool. Uh, and I'll show you three different ways to get it working. Um, the first is the easiest, and by far the best option, but it's unfortunately Mac only, uh, since it uses AppleScript. Um, if you know how to replicate this on a PC, incidentally, please let me know in the comments and I will add it to the site. But for now, let's, let's show you the Mac option. Um, first, go to uh, fluentforever.com slash multi hyphen search bloomforever.com slash multi hyphen search um, and scroll down a little bit and you will find this thing that says download your language how to do it in apple script download your language um, and so all you basically do is uh, pick a language and download it uh, i'm going to download i don't know german um, i can just click on this and it will download you can also right click and go to download linked file both of them work i'll just click and so that will download to my downloads folder uh, and if I open my downloads folder, I will find this this file, this little zip file. Um, and so, go away. Um, if I double click it on the icon, I will have a little folder. And in that folder, I will have an app and a script. And so I'm going to open this app and try to open this app. And you may well see this error message. Uh, Safari German search can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. You know, you're not allowed to download this. It's not from the Apple Mac, the, the, the App Store. Uh, no. <laughs> and so here's how you fix this. Uh, some of you may not even notice this because you've already fixed your computer and it's not having a problem. Um, there's two ways. First, you want to go to System Preferences. You go to the Apple menu in the top left. Go to System Preferences. And on the top here, this top line all the way towards the right, you see Security and Privacy. Click that. Um, and so it will tell you right here, Safari German search was blocked uh, because it's not from an identified developer. And so you have two options. One, you can click open anyway, and it will let you open this app. Uh, or you have this option, which is if you don't want to be bothered by this ever again, uh, you can say out loud, I will not hold Gabe liable if I download a virus and blow up my computer. I will wait. Okay, and then you click this lock. Uh, if you click the lock, you type in your password. Uh, and now you can decide, okay, allow apps downloaded from anywhere. And it will say, choosing this will make it so that you will get a virus and die. And you say, okay, that's fine. And you say, allow from anywhere, and you close this. And now you can open whatever you please. And so I'm going to open up Safari German Search. It will say, this is an application download. Are you sure? It keeps asking, are you sure? It likes saying that. Um, and then if you find it, it's going to say, enter your search phrase. And I will say, hunt. And boom, I have tons of stuff all about dogs in German. I have the pronunciation of dog in German. I can download those MP3s. I have a bilingual dictionary. I have a Google Translate thing. And anytime I want, I can even drag this into my doc, which I've done already with other languages. And anytime I want, I can be like, oh, I want Katze. And boom, I have four tabs open immediately with, with German cats. I mean, this, this is amazing. Uh, I love I love this Apple script. Uh, so that's basically that. That's the Apple script option. Um, use it if you have a Mac. Now let's look at some of the other options. Um, option two is for Firefox. So open up Firefox. Uh, and this is called iMacros. I'd go back to the multi-search page. So I'm going to go to fluent-forever.com slash multi hyphen search. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see something saying how to do it in Firefox. First, get Firefox. Already did that. Uh, and get and install iMacros for Firefox. So I'm going to click this link. And this is a Firefox add-on. And it has a button saying add to Firefox. I will click it. It will download. It will install. I can hit the install now button. It asks you to re up, restart Firef uh, Firefox. Yes, and so I will. Um, no, I don't want this in my default browser. And at this point, iMacros is installed. Uh, the way I can tell is that if I see this little folder thing with a white, yellow, circle-y thing, that means iMacros is installed. So that's all set up. I can close these tabs. And if I go back to fluentforever.com slash multi hyphen search, uh, I'm now going to make some bookmarks. And so the way first bookmark I'm going to make is called open six tabs. Everyone needs this one in every language. doesn't matter. 
I'll show you why in a second. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this if you're on a PC. On a Mac you can control click and you're going to select bookmark this link. It will give you some options. Uh, I will name this Open Six Tabs and in terms of where I put it in this folder section I'm going to choose the bookmarks toolbar so I can just kind of click it up here uh, and then I will save. Now where did that bookmark go? Well if I go, I don't have a bookmarks toolbar viewable right now but I can make that happen by going to View, File, Edit, View, to Toolbars, to Bookmarks Toolbar. And suddenly I have this Open Six Tabs button. So, so far so good. Uh, and now I'm going to do the same thing down here. I will choose the German multi-search just to be consistent, I guess. Uh, and I will right-click on this on a Mac, Control-click, bookmark this link, and select my Bookmarks Toolbar. And I'll call it German multi-search, and it pops up right there. Now here is why uh, we're doing this open six tabs thing. Uh, because if you don't, this is what happens. I hit German multi-search. I have this thing saying, please enter a word, which is exactly what I want. I type in Hund and look, dog pictures, except that, oh no, they're gone. Now I see a dog translation thing. And then suddenly, oh no, those are gone too. And I didn't see anything. I mean, I, <laughs> uh, I didn't get to see my recordings. I didn't get to see anything uh, because every single website loaded in this one window all at once. Uh, and so if I hit open six tabs at the beginning of any time I want to study a language, then it's going to open six tabs, just like that. Uh, these four tabs are the tabs you're going to be using for multi-search. This tab is just a Google Translate thing just to have around because Google Translate's handy to be just there. And this is uh, Google Images basic mode in English. So if I need to get a picture of, you know, a uh, man with cats on head, you know, I can find that if I happen to need that for a story or something. Um, whenever you want to search for a word, make sure you're in the far left tab. If you're over here, this is not going to work. You need to click on the far left tab. And then you can hit, I want Hunt. And it's going to open each of these tabs one by one and load all the stuff I need in it. And so now I have exactly what I had with the Apple script. I have my, my German dogs with translations. I have my German translation, I have this bilingual dictionary, I have this monolingual dictionary, like this is all good. And the next time I want to search, again, click on the far left tab and hit German multi-search. Cuts it. And boom, I have a bunch of information about cats. So this is all set up. And at this point, uh, we can look at option three, which is the, the pain in the butt one. This is iMacros for Chrome. So open up Chrome. We're going to just go through this. We're going to do it. Uh, and up here you can search iMacros for Chrome. And it will be the first option. It is rated 3.5 because it should be. It should be rated less. Uh, it's a real pain in the butt program. Uh, and if you click on that, there will be an option that says plus free. Click on that. And it will say add this. And you say yes, add this. And that same little icon that we saw in Firefox has now been added. And so that's up here. Okay, so next step, um, go to my multi-search page, bloomforever.com uh, slash multi dash search. And if you scroll all the way towards the bottom, above the comments, but at the bottom of the article, uh, you will see this link saying, uh, if you'd like to change any of my dictionaries, whatever, um, actually go to my paste bin. Everything that says my paste bin, that's the one you want. So click on all of the code is available at my paste bin. And you will see all of the code that I've written for these search engines things. I mean, this is, this is the code that's doing all of this. Uh, and so we're going to take this code and put it into Chrome. And it's not that hard, it's just it's a pain in the butt. So um, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Open Six Tabs and click on that. It's all the way at the bottom. And what you'll do is you will select this stuff and copy it. Uh, to copy, you hit on a PC, Control C, or you can go to Edit to Copy. On a Mac, you can hit Command C. So I already copied it. Um, now, now we're going to get into iMacro's interface. To get into iMacro's interface, you click on this little folder thing with the, the yellow thing, and you will see this window pop up. So far, so good. Okay. Now click Record, and click Record Macro and then click stop. Okay, what we just did is we just 
made a macro. <laughs> uh, we made an automated thing, uh, and this is basically a completely useless macro. And so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of this code and delete it. And now we have an empty macro that we can use. And it's because we just copied some really useful code back here, this open six tabs thing, uh, we can paste that. And so you can go to edit to paste. You can hit com control V on a PC, command V on a Mac. And now I have some useful code over here. Uh, and so I will save this as, save as, and close. I will save this as open six tabs. And so at this point we have a usable thing, but we want to get the other, the other macro. We want to get the macro for whatever language you're studying. And so hit the back button, top left, back. Go to whichever multi-search thing makes sense for you. All the Chrome ones are up top. These are mostly for um, Safari or, or actually not for Safari, for Firefox. Uh, but up here, all the Chrome ones, uh, we'll find the German multi-search for Chrome. Isn't there one in here? Oh well, we'll do uh, French multi-search for Chrome. I think there's a German in here somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, could have sworn it's in here. Oh well, French multi-search for Chrome. We'll try that. Uh, and I will copy all this just the same as I did before. I'm going to go to Edit to Copy or Command C or Control C on a PC. Uh, and I will do the exact same thing. I'm going to hit Record Macro. I'm going to hit Stop. This useless code is going to show up. I'm going to select all of it. And I'm going to paste edit to paste or command V or control V on a PC and now I have useful code I'm going to save that as and I will save that as German or this one was French French multi-search uh, and I guess I will choose bookmarks in this case okay and so I see in this window this is where the files are stored which I need a new new extension thing for to make it work uh, and this is where the bookmarks are uh, I have these two macros which is just what I want to have. So I'm going to open a new window, and in this window I'm going to start searching for things. And so I'm going to double click on open six tabs. And it's going to work in the back window for no reason at all. And so I'm going to try this again. This is why I don't like this program. All right. So we'll stick to the back window. Um, and over here I'm going, I've opened my six tabs. I have my Google Translate tab. I have my Google Images tab, just as I had before. Looks like iMacros really doesn't like multiple windows, which is fine, I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to make sure I'm in my far left tab, just like I was in Firefox, and open up French multi-search. It will say, what word do you want? I will say, shut. And just like before, it will search all these things. And so I have my French cats, I have all this stuff. Um, if I want to search for another language, I mean it for another word, I just make sure I'm in the far left tab again and double click on this. And it will search in all those websites. So this is the setup process. Um, let's say you wanted to change some of the code. Let's say you found another website that you really liked and you wanted to use that. Um, to do that, all you have to do is basically the same thing we did before. Uh, we're going to go to the paste bin again. It's pastebin.com slash u slash tower babblefish. This is for my old website. Um, and let's say we wanted to mess around with the French multi-search thing. We're going to copy this code again. Uh, and we're going to record macro. We're going to stop. We're going to delete all this stuff. And we're going to paste. And over here, uh, we're going to mess with this code. And if you look, this code is actually not that complicated. Uh, all it's doing really is going from tab 1 to tab 2 to tab 3 to tab 4. Uh, and it's going to these URLs, and these URLs are not that complicated. This is forvo.com. This is where I get all my recordings. And it's the normal address. This is whatever I, I searched for a word, and this is where the word goes. This is curly bracket, curly bracket, exclamation point, var1, curly bracket, curly bracket. And so all you have to do is search for a word, search for any old word. Um, if I were to go to forvo, let's say, I, I don't know, uh, if I search for Forvo, look at this is exactly how Forvo encodes its searches, basically. If I put chien here, I get dog. If I put chat here, I get cat. You know, this is these are the recordings for cat. Uh, and so I take this URL and I paste it right in there. And then I replace the word that I care about with 
curly bracket, curly bracket, exclamation point, V-A-R-1, curly bracket, curly bracket. And so if you have a different website, not Forvo, uh, you can do the exact same thing. You just search for your word, uh, you find it in the URL, it's going to be somewhere. And for a Google search, it's over here, it's after Q equals whatever. For a Wiktionary search, it's wiki slash this. I mean, it's, it's usually somewhere in the URL, not always, but usually. Uh, and if it is, you can use it with this, this program. And so all you have to do is replace your word with curly bracket, curly bracket, exclamation point, var one, curly bracket, curly bracket, and then save as, and you have modified French search save as, uh, and poof, you have that. Um, in Firefox, if you want to do the exact same thing in Firefox, it works the exact same way. Uh, Firefox iMacros shows up in the same way. Uh, you're going to use the, basically the exact same tools. You're going to hit record. Uh, you know, it'll say, do you want to close all tabs? Sure. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and then you hit stop. And then you select your thing. And uh, you should be able to mon modify it. Edit macro. Yeah, you hit manage and then edit macro. And this is where you can get all the code. Uh, if I go over here, uh, I will select all this code, delete it, paste all my uh, all the stuff from that paste bin thing. It's basically the same thing that we did before. I will copy this, I will paste it there, and then you can mess around with this code in Firefox. Okay, I can replace this not with forvo.com, but with some other website. Um, if I want to do this with the Apple scripts, uh, it's actually not too bad either. Uh, this, it's basically the same code, it's just sort of read under Apple script. Um, what I want you to open is Apple script editor. Uh, you will go to your applications folder. I think it's in utilities, but let's see. Yeah, uh, go to utilities. Apple scripts, yes, there you go. Applications. Utilities, Apple Script Editor. Open that up. Um, and then go find your downloads folder. I have my, uh, my German search thing. And take the app, this Safari German search app, and drag it onto the, the picture of Apple Script Editor. And you will find the code. And you can change the code. And this is the code. It's the exact same thing. It's forvo.com slash curly bracket, curly bracket, exclamation point, var one, curly bracket, curly bracket. So you're just going to search for some, find that word in your, in whatever website you want to change, whatever website you want to add, and then use this code instead of the word you're looking for. Uh, and then all you have to do is save it. And you've now modified your, your search. Um, so that is basically it. Uh, we have gone through everything with multi-search. So I enjoy. Uh, this is a really great tool once it's set up, and hopefully this has made the setup a bit easier. Uh, so that's all. Talk to you later.